Hi, Hiram here. A couple of days ago I did a boil test on this batch stove's 22 ounce uh, ultralight cook pot using the brass light turbo 2d didn't get such a hot time with that I thought a chimney stove sending the flames right up to the middle of the bottom of the pot would make it heat up faster I uh, got two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 7 minutes 28 seconds I had a number of people say that this wasn't a fair test that the brass light turbo 2d is made for a wider pot and putting a narrow pot on it just wasn't fair um, anyway I won't go on that so I went back to the brass light website I'll leave a link down below so that you can find the same information uh, they were constantly saying that 16 fluid ounces of water that's two cups should come to a boil in five minutes and it took me seven minutes 28 seconds so I looked into it more they're talking about water temperature starting at 50 degrees whereas I start at 60 indoor interior environment like I'm doing here room and fuel temps at 70 degrees I'm going to be doing it at 74 uh, sitting on a plywood surface I'm sitting on cement board here because I don't like to try to start fires inside in places where they shouldn't be no simulated wind no windscreen no heat reflector and it should get two cups of water to a boil in five minutes so oh then further on I looked down what kind of pot did they use for this they were using an ever new 1.3 liter titanium pot titanium so I don't have an ever new 1.3 liter titanium pot but I do have a Vargo titanium a 0.9 liter so this should definitely hold two cups of water this is a much wider pot than the batch stoves so in order to do a fair test I'm going to do this test again using the turbo 2 <coughs> excuse me with my Vargo titanium pot just like so and we'll see what kind of time we get on this so let me get some water prepped get some alcohol in the in the stove and I'll be right back for a test okay my water's to temp let me light this I have one fluid ounce of methanol in here the capacity for the turbo 2d the brass light turbo 2d is two fluid ounces 60 milliliters one fluid ounce is supposed to last 10 minutes so got a flame there two cups of water sitting at 60 degrees and let's see where this goes okay there we are two minutes into the test the temperature is up to 92 degrees Fahrenheit not exactly blasting along uh, I hope you can see these are the vents underneath you can regulate this to you know if you block up these holes it uh, puts it down to a simmer but I have all of the holes wide open so this should be you know the maximum flame uh, I don't know what to say here so far I mean my room temperature is higher than what they went by the uh, fuel temperature is higher the starting water temperature is 10 degrees higher so we'll have to see what happens here so let's see how long it takes for this to come to a boil we're now at the five minute mark the temperature is up to about 163 you can see how fast it's going up a much nicer flame now coming out if this is what the flame was like the whole time of the test it probably would have been fast so there's nothing saying about how long they let the stove burn before they put the pot on if they let it preheat for a minute or two I don't know that's kinda cutting it you can see the the temperatures going up so I'm gonna cut here and I'll be back when we're at boiling there's 210 211 212 in 6 minutes 57 seconds okay and let's see how long this takes to run out supposedly the one fluid ounce of methanol or alcohol should last for 10 minutes 
so we'll see. Be right back. And there we're going. Going gone at 1111. Huh, a little bit longer than they said. Okay. So, let me just get rid of this. That was two cups of water. Again, I was trying to do a fair test here using a titanium pot rather than an aluminum pot. I always thought aluminum heated up faster, but people seem to really like the titanium stuff. Anyway, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Uh, came to a boil in this case in 6 minutes 57 seconds and then ran out at 11. Now I was thinking here as I was watching the test go on, as time went on about 3-4 minutes into the test, the flame really got nice. But I did this test like I would if I was camping. I mean I don't light the stove and then just wait and wait and wait and wait for the flames to build up high. I put the pot on and that's what I do for these tests as soon as I can. But I guess um, according to the brass light site they uh, they get 16 ounces time after time an average of 5 minutes for 16 ounces of water. This took 6 minutes 57 seconds. That's only what 31 seconds faster than the time I got with the aluminum pot from batch stoves. When you consider the difference in prices of these two things, I'm not sure about the pot affecting the test that much. But I hope people will consider this to be a fair test. In its day, this was a very innovative design. I'm not sure today how many people actually use the batch, the uh, brass light stoves, but they are indeed still sold on the internet and on eBay, I've seen them. But uh, I'll leave links down below for the brass light site. I'll leave links below for the Vargo site so you can see where these are. I'll also put the specifications for the stove and for the pot down in the text area. Uh, you know, I don't know. I'm hoping that like I said, I'm hoping that this will be considered a fair test. So, I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.